Hello, hello, hello. It's Tom from Tom and the Philippine Adventures. How's everybody doing today? Hey, today I want to talk about, uh, I touched a base about something the other day and some of the guys have reached back to me on this insurance thing. I want to talk about this briefly. This is uh, going to be like a coffee time, so it's going to be many different topics real quick. So first and foremost, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, the the thing I want to talk about is insurance. I, as you know, I contacted Cigna, um, Prime, Cross, Russell, uh, AXA, United, and Aetna. I contacted everybody. Well, during this time, as I did the video, I thought everybody replied to me, but apparently they have not. So this is really the gist of the story. If you're actually coming to the Philippines, and you're going to find you may have insurance you may be paying insurance and everything is fine and as you know uh, not a lot of places are accepting insurance or maybe they are a new thing that they started doing is this it's called pre-existing condition and you go to the hospital uh, a lot, the insurance companies now are telling me basically 99.9 .9. there's one company that pays the bill but I'll tell you about that at the end the thing what they do is is you pay the bill up front and then they reimburse you the money but the problem is is their reimbursement is uh, long and hard sometimes they don't say so you submit the bill you go to the doctor you submit the bill and it's there within 10 days of your your operation or whatever you had done at the hospital and you get that done the thing of it is they come back and they say okay Tom uh, you sent the bill in we received your bill but we got some conflict we don't pay for this we don't pay for this we don't pay for this so instead of paying you uh, you know the eight hundred dollars we're going to end up paying you four because we believe that was a pre-existing condition well no I'm healthy I have this and I have that so why wouldn't you pay the bill of that well because it's pre-existing how can it be pre-existing I never had the illness before so they use that as a scapegoat so the guys are telling me guys um, Jerry, Fred, Paul, Alice, and uh, Fred Corey was telling me that they have been to the hospital here in the last six or eight months. They paid the bills because that's the new thing. Instead of the, uh, they submitting the bills at the hospital, they don't do that anymore. Basically, they say, okay, we don't do that. And so you pay the bill, and then they reimburse you the money. The problem is they don't reimburse the full amount. They only get pieces part. You're better off to home to self-insure it yourself, honestly. But you make your own decisions. Now, people are telling me that I'm wrong in some instances because it's the co the companies themselves. So I contacted the companies. In fact, I have the emails. This is the one I was going to tell you about. This comes from Cigna, and basically, this comes from the sales agent trying trying to recoup what he was saying. They'll pay the bill up front. Uh, they'll pay the bill up front but they can actually say okay they're only going to pay this that he said a lot of times what's happening these hospitals are adding other things well I said they've been doing that for years in the US they add stuff on there that maybe the insurance company they battle it out they, they call it copays that's the reason you pay a copay well here it's a little bit different they don't have such a thing as copays it's not like 80-20 it's no such thing they give you a policy the amount is this it's no 80-20 because the doctors here have different fees um, medication you had to get off premises a lot of times you had to furnish all the equipment for your operation before you do the operation uh, and then you pay the doctors before they operate on you and that has to come out of your pocket first so buyer beware be careful on a lot of that guys are complaining guys are telling me that was one thing that the US Embassy guy was telling me that Paul was telling me that that is one of the major problems they're having here is the hospitals themselves are gouging or taken advantage of and I said the word gouging okay and taken advantage of take advantage of all the policyholders not just not just one group all all right next story I want to talk about today we actually uh, this is coffee time right we actually replaced part of my floor here because uh, in my house uh, during the earthquake the last seven a uh, seven point three earthquake it actually uh, shook the house so bad, in other words, glasses falling off the table, 
things falling off the walls, these pictures behind me falling off the walls. So it really did a lot of shaking. And same thing in Blessing House, I got a big crack in the wall. But that is no big deal. Anyway, it broke my line on my water line. I did not know it because the counter was like shaking, whatever, the lines broke. Well, I did not know it. And it had been leaking, leaking, leaking. I noticed the floor sagging. I said, why is that floor sagging? It's, it's floor. Why is it sag? So um, it gives you an idea. I'm just going to show you this one piece here. And I'll give show you here. See, we had to replace this. See right there? And replace this. Oh, my sh Enough. So that had to be replaced because of the of the water. And we didn't know it was leaking until shh, shh, shh. we didn't know it was leaking until uh, we looked and one morning and just happened to look and I said, There's water there, we gotta leak. So we turn off the water pull the cabinet out and realize this is okay we got a problem so then um, we got looking more deeper into it and apparently I don't know how many months ago that was six months I don't know whatever time frame it was it could have happened the earthquake before but it was caused by the earthquake we know that for sure because the cabinet was pulled away from the wall uh, we don't I don't I didn't attach the cabinets to the wall there's a reason I didn't in case Ruth wants to move the cabinets to another place I mean you know common sense you know women they she may want to sink on this other wall over here which we could easily transport it over there we just have to run the lines over there but if I do it to the wall I don't want to have holes in my walls is what I'm getting at this is steel so I don't want to have to do all the stuff I have to do grind it down do all the stuff so we got that done anyway it was really uh, inexpensive in a way the floor in itself was uh, 23 uh, 26 dollars for a 4 by 8 sheet of phobic this is called Terraplex it's P-H-O-B-L-I-C uh, wood uh, the outer core is uh, water resistant the backs water resistant with layers of uh, marine plywood water water plywood in other words you can set in water a lot of long periods of time. It's marine plywood. It's uh, very durable, very good, very solid. It should last life of the house. You know, no reason why it wouldn't. So we replaced that whole area right here. Well, really from where you see there that way. Uh, and then we just went ahead and replaced it all. You're going to place one board, why piece it, right? And so it was fine. And so it cost me, oh, about labor and everything, about 80, 80 bucks. 90 bucks so I'm sorry a hundred dollars because I had to buy some more screws for the cap so a hundred dollars so I'm not complaining about that so a hundred bucks got the screws in the wood it's all right so that's a good thing and I'm happy about that uh, last thing I want to talk about here since it's coffee time is uh, we Ruth and I are going to try Ruth ours going to be out of school uh, sometime is um, I think it's either in the next month or first of May she's gonna be out of school so we're gonna try to make some trips and uh, maybe see a little bit of the Philippines if we possibly can and we have that on our schedule so uh, hopefully we'll get out and see uh, the guy or the girls who want to go to a beach so we may what we do we may try to go to Borkai or something like that or to another beach two or three places uh, maybe an area we may fly somewhere I don't know if we go to Bohol or something but the girls are telling me Bohol a great place to go visit and a great place but they've been there and they've seen it because uh, the uh, family's there and they got family all over I did not realize how big the family was I mean they got family there I mean they got them in super they got them everywhere it seemed like in fact there's an area where the there's an area uh, with their family name. There's a town with their family name up in uh, Visayas. So, uh, really huge family. Uh, many. We had a party here recently and uh, here at the house. I didn't do any videos or everything because kids. Had a little over a hundred people and that's immediate family. Well, when the mother has nine kids uh, and then, uh, and then the, ch uh, the sisters have their kids their babies and so it adds up really quick and then you got aunts and uncles and everything else so and then the mother had I think she has eight or nine sisters but anyway we had a good party so it was a good thing good visit 
So uh, that's really about it. I wanted to guys to give you an update about that insurance. Oh boy, right? But I tell everybody only because uh, how much money you need. Well, you know what? That'd be your own judgment call on that. Uh, I would have minimum ten grand on a card. Uh, ten grand these days. Family member went had a baby, C-section. Guess how much? Guess how much? Six thousand dollars for a C-section. A C-section was six thousand dollars, and that's not all of it. They had some other pieces. I think I, I need to reach out a couple of friends of mine, like Pumpkin Joe, and ask him how much he paid. But he paid six thousand dollars for his baby to be born here. So I want to thank everybody for watching. God bless everybody, and thank you so much.